Pretenders. I'm your host, Pegan Young. Today is a great day for lovebirds. Today is Valentine's Day, February 14th. Well, I hope you gave and received your share of bouquets and chocolates today. Let's welcome today's contenders onto our stage. <laughs> Welcome to our stage. We have the Shung teams, Hong Seung Eun and yeah. Kil Jae Hong. <laughs> and well, Shung is your girlfriend's name, I hear, mm -hmm. and that's how you two got close. Yeah, actually, Shung is my girlfriend's nickname, mm -hmm. and uh, she was my my classmate. But we were not that close before. But because of her, we got really closer. Oh. And I think the Shung sounds really cutie, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why we chose that name for our team name. Ah, oh, it is a cute name, Shung. Welcome to our Thanks. stage and good luck to you. Now today is a very special day, it's Valentine's Day, and so what did you do special with your girlfriend? Yeah, we had a really good time. We love Valentine's Day mm -hmm. because I love chocolate and you know, there are so many things, romantic things happen. Ah. So, very, it was very nice. Well, I hope you had a great day and I hope that this will be a great ending to a great day. Good luck Thank to you, you Sean. Now, going against you today, we have the seven team, Cho Junyeon and Lee Jae Hyung. And so, why do you pick seven? Yeah, you know, seven is the symbol of luck. So, mm -hmm. of course, we come to here to solve all the questions, but it always happens. We must get some questions. So, yeah, seven stands for luck. That's all. Ah, so mm -hmm. you're trying to bring luck to yourselves by choosing seven? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Ah, well, I hope that luck visits you today. Good luck to all of you. And now, let us begin the quiz. Now, in our first section, we'll be giving you 10 multiple choice questions. Um, we will give you the multiple choice questions until you get it wrong. If you get it wrong, then we'll give you the sum of points up to that point. If you get all 10 correct, then we'll give you 50 bonus points. Hopefully, you'll let me do that to you today, uh, give you 50 bonus points, that is. And if you're not sure about a certain question, you can call out chance, and we'll take away two of the incorrect choices and give you a better chance at the correct answer. So, Shung, if you are ready, please choose among questions that's Q-U-I-N-Z. Okay. We will choose Q. Okay, we'll go with questions at Q, number one. Of the following, which is worn on the face? One, earring, two, watch, three, belt, four, bracelet. Number one, earring. Very good. You weren't sure whether you wanted to ring in or not. You, yeah, right. you only start ringing in with the third section. And we go to question number two. Of the following, which is the most expensive transportation mode in Korea when traveling the same length, same distance? One tram, two subway, three bus, four taxi. Four taxi. And we go to question number three. Of the following, which national flag does not have a star on it? One China, two Japan, three United States of America, and Turkey. Four is Turkey. Number two, number two Japan. <laughs> and of course, how are you finding the quiz so far? Pretty easy, right? Yeah, right. And we go to question four. Of the following, which color has the highest luminosity? One, black, two, blue, three, white, four, gray. If you're not sure, you can call out chance. Chance or final answer, Shung. Number three, white. <laughs> And are you glad you went with that answer? Yeah. <laughs> and we go to question five. I didn't five. want to use chance. Uh, you're holding on to it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> question five. In the simple equation, 3x plus 2 is 14. What is the value of x? 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. Number 3, 4. <laughs> And you haven't used chance yet, and we go to question six. Of the following, 
Which device helps you keep the regular tempo of a song when playing at the piano? One tambourine, two metronome, three tech stock, four timpani. Two metronome. Very good. And of course, tech stock is what we call the baton. Mm -hmm. And we go to question seven. Of the following, which movie does not have to do with boxing? One, Rocky. Two, Raging Bull. Three, Remember the Titans. And four, Hurricane Carter. Number three, Remember the Titans. Ah, you still haven't used chance, and we go into question eight. Of the following, which animal does not have a pouch? One, duckbill platypus. Two, wombat. Three, koala. Four, kangaroo. Chance or final answer, Shun? Number one, duckbill plat platypus. Correct. You know, um, you've only got two questions left and you still haven't used chance. Now, you know that if you get all 10 questions correct, we give you 50 bonus points. How yeah. do you see your chances? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good way to end Valentine's Day, right? Oh, yeah. And we go to question nine. Of the following, what would you do to burn the most calories? One, cycling. Two, walking with baby on the back. Three, ascending the stairs. And four, folding up bedding. Shed, uh, would you like to use chance or would you like to give us the final answer, Sean? One or the other, please. Answer or chance? Number one. Cycling. <laughs> oh, you, know, you should have taken the chance. Actually, we were looking for ascending the stairs. Um, of course, that's dependent on how, you, how much you weigh, but um, according to the, the informative source that we used, mm -hmm. cycling takes 3.3 uh, calories mm -hmm. per minute, walking with baby on the back, 3 calories. Ascending the stairs is 6.2 calories, mm -hmm. so it takes a lot of calories to lift your entire body up the stairs. Mm -hmm. And of course, mm -hmm. folding up beddings is second at 5 calories. You end the section with a great 80 points. Congratulations. And now, seven team, you have a choice of U, I, or Z. Which will you have? I, please. Okay, we go with questions at I. Number one. Of the following, which country has the largest population? One, China. Two, Japan. Three, India. Four, United States. One. Yes, China has the biggest population. And question two. Of the following, which is not a, subway, a station on the number two subway line in Korea? One, Jamsil. Two, Shindorim. Three, Gangnam. Four, Jongga. Four. And we go into question number three. How many minutes are there in one day? One, 360, two, 720, three, 1440, and four, 1560. Final answer or chance? Number three. <laughs> yeah, you have to be pretty quick with the, with the math there. <laughs> and you haven't used chance yet, and we go into question four. Which is not a movie that Han Seok Kyu starred in? One, Tell Me Something. Two, Double Agent. Three, Christmas in August. And four, Joint Security Area. Four. <laughs> and so how many boxes of chocolates did you receive today, Seven? That's the top secret. <laughs> ah, it's top secret. I see. Well, how about um, when we actually have uh, March 14th, which is White Day, wh where the men give mints to women in Korea. Um, how many boxes of mints are you going to give away? Just one. Just one. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe this is a PR mint, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we go to question number five. 
When traveling, you use the euro in Europe and the peso in Mexico. What would you use in Thailand? One, the baht, two, rupees, three, lira, four, drachme. Chance. Okay, you will use chance. We'll take away two of the incorrect choices and please make your final selection seven. One. Yes. In Pakistan, we use rupees. And you have used chance. We go into question six. Of the following, which is not a Japanese animation film? One, Jin Ro. Two, Spirited Away. Three, Metropolis. Four, Wonderful Days. Final answer seven. Two. That was the English name Spirited Away for Sento Chiro no Kami Kakushi, which is the animation that is, of course, Japanese. What we were looking for is Wonderful Days, and that is a Korean film that has not yet opened in the year 2003. Seven, you end with 50 points. Shung, you are ahead with 80 points. Congratulations, you're in the lead. <laughs> Of course, we go to the section where we get to see how well you work together with your partner. Shung, of course, and Seven, I'm sure you know the rules of this game. Uh, we give you a pre-chosen category, 20 words and 100 seconds. You cannot use the word or phrase that we give you on the board or else we can't give you the 10 points. Now, Shung, if you're ready, please take your position. Of course, you, you, you chose your category, famous structures. And so, what is your favorite famous structure? Uh, actually, I love Gyeongguk Palace. Mm. I stayed in China for a while and I, wa I saw the, mm, <coughs> the Forbidden City. Uh -huh. And people say the Forbidden City is way better and bigger mm -hmm. than Gyeongguk Palace. But I think I found, after I came back to my country, I found the beauty of Gyeongguk Palace again. So, I love it. Uh, yes, it is. And a I say to Chinese friends, Gyeonggu mm -hmm. Palace is very good. Really? Well, I invite all the Chinese people that are watching us right now to pay a visit to Gyeonggu Palace and judge for themselves. And are you ready? Yeah. Okay, <coughs> go. Uh, in Cairo? Pyramid of Egypt. September 11th. Uh, or Trade Center. Uh, Polo meters. Uh, the Palace of Versailles. National treasure number one. Uh, Namdaemun. Royal family with B. Uh, Buckingham, Buckingham Palace. Blind with the K. Uh, Kremlin Palace. Pass. In San Francisco. Uh, Golden Gate Bri Bridge. In Paris. In Paris, with e. Eiffel Tower. Samsung Dong with a K. Uh, coax. Uh, in Seattle, uh, with S. Space Needle. Seattle. Uh, the Sears Tower. Mm -hmm. Roman Amphitheater with a C. Uh, Colosseum. Right. In Cambodia, with uh, a Kuwait. In Athens. Parthenon. Uh, in Australia, uh, Harbour Bridge. The other one. Uh, Sydney Opera. In India, with T. Uh, uh, Taj Mahal. Pass. A Gothic architecture. Ah, uh, Notre Dame de Paris. Pass. You did a great job only passing on a few. Uh, you passed on the Greek Acropolis and, of course, the um, Hagia Sophia, which is the church. Um, that is the Islamic church. Oh. Um, that is one of the most wonderful uh, buildings in the world. Really? But you did great <laughs> on this section. Um, you didn't get to St. Paul's Cathedral, of, which is, of course, in London. You mm -hmm. end this section with 240 points. Yeah. And seven. 
Okay, if you're ready, please take your position. Picked as your category, Winter Olympics. Yes. Now, do you have a favorite event in the Winter Olympics? Maybe <laughs> skiing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you like skiing? Yeah, very much. Are you very good? Not that good, but pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, you like snow. <laughs> it's nice to ski in Korea, isn't it? Yeah, right. Sometimes yeah. a little bit crowded, but mm. nice anyway. Are you ready? Yes. Go. It comes from the sky and it's snow. This is the place where we ski. It's uh, skate, skate. Uh, ice rink? Right. Movie 1. C. Uh, cool running? Our best sport. Skiing? Uh, figure skating, number 3. Um, we should on? Yep. Jack Kroge, IOC, IPOC, um, Ice Hockey, Oh no, best enemy, um, our best player, uh, um, short, yes, yeah, short track, Kim Dong Song, right, 90, 90, 94, Lille your sister, snowboarding, snowboard, hatback, L, luge, uh, Japan place, yeah. 1998, Nagano. S running, uh, uh, speed skating. B4, pop play. Um, no, sorry, B gun. Um, biathlon, right? Pass. Small GS. Um, slalom? Fast. Ah, seven team, I could tell that you prepared a lot. You actually had codes. Yeah, we made all in codes. <laughs> Um, well, you passed on Tanya Harding. Uh, that's the interesting woman who had, mm. um, I think, court cases, many problems related to that, ice skating. I knew that. That was code four. <laughs> yeah, code four. But I forgot code the code four. number. <laughs> uh, and um, uh, you passed on the 76th site of the Winter Olympics, which is mm. Innsbruck. But you did great Innsbruck. in the section. Um, and you end this section with 200 points. Now, Shung, you are in the lead with 240 points. <laughs> This is the section where Kim, Dong, uh, Kim Chun Sung comes out to help with the questions. Uh, it's a really close game so far, don't you think? Close game. Mm -hmm. Interest, uh, interesting hints, mm -hmm. especially uh, was it figure skater number three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have a, a list of um, mm -hmm. that you prepared, and that was number three, right? Number number one. One. Uh, I'm very impressed. Yeah, it is pretty impressive. Yeah. And uh, Shung, is that uh, a Chinese name? No, no, no. It's it sounds kind of, you know, Chinese, Yeah, yeah, I know right? that, but... Shung, Shung, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I know how to speak Chinese. I'm, I'm not trying to make fun <laughs> of Chinese people or whatever, but it just sounds kind of Chinese, so I was wondering. It sounds cute, right? Cute. Yeah, yeah, I could see how that matches with your, your girlfriend's, uh, you know. You don't like the name? No, uh, okay. It's yeah. not... No, she's no. not my girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, she's not your girlfriend. <laughs> You, made a big nope. <laughs> you see, you see. The thing is, they have a mutual friend in common, and that's his girlfriend, and that's her friend. You see. Oh, I thought you guys were talking about no. each other. Uh, no, no. You're confused. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Okay. And she's watching. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> and they just had a romantic date together. Today is Valentine's Day. Uh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, okay, we're making him feel really bad Okay, now. here we go. What are the rules? All right, the rules, um, I'm sorry. Okay, the <laughs> rules are uh, 15 non-multiple choice questions. Each question is worth 30 points. First thing that buzzes in can answer. And uh, if the team gets the answer wrong, cannot answer the question at all, then the question will go over to the other team. And, <laughs> and also you have five seconds to answer. And also, when both teams cannot answer the question, then we will give you a spelling hit. 
And of course, this is the section where we all buzz in. And of course, you have to wait for me to call your names. Yes, you all want to try it? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. See, the OT team was at that table, and I think they might have pressed a buzzer a bit too hard. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So let's have question number one. All right, question number one is about medicine. This medicine is called the miracle of anti-cancer medicines. It is especially effective for cancers of the digestive system and leukemia. There are almost no side effects and it is very popular worldwide. What is the name of this medicine which was manufactured by Novartis Pharma Pharmaceuticals and was priced for sales in Korea last month? Seven. Gleebeck. And Seven, you have... You're catching up, actually. You're 230 versus Shung's 240. And Shung, you gave the answer when I called Seven's name. I want to warn you against that. Okay? All right. Only share your answer with us after I've called out your team name. Or else you, you don't want to give your hint away uh, or your answer away to your opponents. And so we go to question number two. Okay, question number two is about economy. Uh, which aircraft company is number one this year? It is expected that this company will exceed Boeing in terms of delivered goods the first time in history. It is a European Aircraft Manufacturing Consortium formed in 1970 to produce large capacity, short, medium range aircrafts. What is it? Seven. Airbus. Yes. And with that, you are in the lead 260 versus Shung's 240. And we get to number three. Number three is about a writer. Last month, ABC of the U.S. reported that a mysterious visitor came to this American writer's grave and left three roses and a half a bottle of cognac, same as the last several years. This happening has repeated every year since 1949. What is the name of this poet and writer famous for his works like The Black Cat and The Fall of the House of Usher? The Black Cat? Shung? Agatha Christie? Guess what? Seven, it's your chance to answer five seconds. Edgar Allan Poe. And Shung, with that question, you are again in the lead, 270 versus 7's 260. Very close game. And we go to question number four. Okay, question number four is about sport. This game is especially associated with Scotland, where, it's, uh, where the game dates to the early 16th century. It is a game similar to lawn bowls, but played on ice. Each player slides round stones. Last month, seven curling, and of course the Korean men's team won their first medal in this event in history at the Winter Universiades. For us, Korea made a great record. And seven, you've got the lead again, 290 versus Shung's 270. We're seeing it inch back and forth. We'll see what happens with question number five. Okay, question number five is about astronomy. According to foreign press, three satellites of this planet have been newly observed. It was named for the Roman god of the sea and is the eighth planet in average distance from the sun. Chung. Not Chung. And Shung's in the lead with that question, and we get to the next one. Okay, question number six is about title. The popular television animation series has become one of the longest aired series. Seven. Friends. Good guess, but Chung, it's your chance to answer, and please finish the question. General, Shung. General Hospital? Please finish the question. This popular television animation series has become one of the, one of the longest aired comedy series in the U.S. Recently, Fox Entertainment announced that they will continue to produce the series until the summer season of 2005. What is the title of this cartoon series about an average nuclear family living in the U.S.? Seven. Hmm, Shung, five seconds. Shung? Very much. Why don't we take a look at the spelling hint? Seven. The Simpsons. You had a tough time with that one. You guys, you guys missed a word. I said animation series, and I read the question, what is the title of the cartoon series? Yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> and we go to question seven. All right, uh, number seven, soccer. It has been reported, sorry, let me say this again. Number seven, soccer. 
It has been reported that this sports star, the famed striker of the England soccer team, is a gambler. Seven. Owen. And of course, he actually likes to gamble big bets. Uh, he belongs to the Liverpool team and has nicknames Golden Boy and Wonder Boy. Seven, you are in the lead with 350 points versus Shung's 300 points. It's a very close game still. Let's go on to question number eight. Okay, question number eight is about a country. According to the internet edition of BBC, recently this country has reinforced its anti-smoking campaign. Shung. Bhutan. Bhutan has actually forbade smoking, or ha it's forbidden smoking across the nation. So, Would right. that be a great country to live in? or? Yeah, for me, since I'm a non-smoker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, you can guess what, what side I'm on, right? <laughs> for freedom, right? For freedom, <laughs> yeah. And question number nine. <laughs> um, question number nine is about a person. On the 7th of next month, this singer will have a concert in Korea for the first time in 34 years. This British pop star made headlines for the great attention he received during his first concert in Korea back in 1969. What is the name of this pop star who received the title of Knight in 1995, which, which is a first for a pop star? Mm, why don't we take a look at the spelling hint? Seven? Cliff Richard. <laughs> And seven, you are keeping your 50-point lead, and we go to question number 10. Question number 10 is about issue. People who will buy cell phones next year will not have to press the three initial digits when making phone calls. This is because all new cell phone subscribers... Sheng. 010. So if you buy a cell phone from January 1st of 2004, you won't have to press anything which will make things easier for us as we call. Seven, you have a 20-point lead now, and we go to question number 11. Okay, question number 11 is about a fruit. According to BBC News, edible this may disappear within a decade if urgent action is not taken. Shung. Banana. Yes. And that is due to the growing number of pests and diseases that are attacking this wonderful, good-tasting plant. That's sad. And we get, actually, Sheng, you've gotten the lead, 390 versus 7's 380, and we go to question number 12. Okay, question number 12 is about an automobile. Recently, GM announced that they will release at least seven types of this model by the year 2007. This car uses both an electric motor or motors and a gasoline or diesel engine that charges the batteries. Seven. Um, hybrid car. <laughs> Or we would have taken um, HEV, which is the hybrid electric vehicle, as well as the answer. And seven, you are 20 points ahead now, and we go to question number 13. Okay, question number 13 is about a word. Scientists at the University of Toronto Sleep Clinic have found that an analysis of a person's brain waves can be converted into an audio track. This is a type of music of which the version, of which the version by Brahms is the most famous that is traditionally used to put babies to sleep. What kind of music is this? Music to put babies to sleep. Shung. Lullaby? Yes, the lullaby. <laughs> and now, Shung, you've taken the lead by 10 points, and we just have two questions left. Oh, this is very close. We go to question 14 now. Question number 14 is about a beverage. This evergreen tree, whose scientific name is Camellia sinensis, grows to a height of about 30 feet in nature. This is a beverage produced by steeping in freshly boiled water the young leaves and leaf buds of the tree. What is this? Shung. Tea. And with that, we have just one question left. Let's go to the last one. Question number 15 is about a fish. This is a small uh, silvery fish with blue-green backs. It usually never grows larger than 20 centimeters. The fish prefers uh, the warmer waters around the world where it swims in massive schools. European this is an important food fish. What is this? Important food fish? Why don't we take a look at the spelling hint? Seven. 
alcohol? No, <laughs> no, it's not alcohol. Shung, <laughs> <laughs> oh. five seconds. Shung. Anchovy. And the seven did a great job. It was a very tough match. Shung, you actually get to go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> Now, Seven, well, you had your sh fair share of luck today, right? Uh -huh. That was okay. And do you want to share with us uh, any comments you might have for your supporters back home? Thank you for supporting us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry for not winning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much for joining us. And now, Shung team, you get to go on to face the Ote team, which is going to go for their seventh win in a row today. And so, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel fine. I think life is a challenge. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be a star or sacred ship. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter. I All think right. I love that kind of thing. Challenge. Oh, challenge. Okay. Well, we'll be right back after this. Welcome back, the Ote team. Good to have you back on our stage, Jason Kim and Kenny Park. I see that you have your lucky seven shirt on. This is, of course, your attempt at win number seven in a row. Um, how do you feel? I think, um, you know, obviously this is not, we didn't do this on our own. Um, so I think it's a lot of the support of our fans and um, I think it's important for us to acknowledge them at this point in time. Uh, should we win, um, we'd like to uh, in part thank them for their support as well. Okay, well, good luck to you guys today. This is your attempt at win number seven in a row. And of course, Shung, you are going against some tough opponents, but you did great in the first half. Keep, going, keep on showing us this wonderful spirit. Good luck to all of you. And now we go on to the final quiz portion. We give you five categories with five <coughs> questions each, 10 to 50 points each. And of course, um, if you get a question correct, then you can choose the next question. If you get it wrong, the chance to answer goes over to your opponents. We're having a lot of talking while I'm giving the rules today. Everybody's so excited. <laughs> what are our categories today? Uh, this week's categories are familiar quotes, science trivia, sports facts, and famous composers, PR Korea. Mm-hmm. And of course, PR is public relations. And um, I get to choose the first question, as usual, and I will go with familiar <coughs> coats for 10 points. This question is multiple choice, so you only get one chance to answer. The following quote was said by the English philosopher, essayist, and statesman, Francis Bacon. What is the word that fits into the blank? Blank is power. One beauty, two wealth, three knowledge, four health. Okay. Knowledge? Yes, knowledge. And with that, Ote, you are on the board with 10 points and you get to choose. Oh, we're going to go with sports fact for 10. Okay, sports fact for 10 points. Okay, for 10 points. This question is also multiple choice. You have only one chance to answer. The All-Star Game marked the end of Korea's professional basketball season. How many professional men's basketball teams are there that participated in this season in Korea? Number one, six, number two, eight, number three, nine, number four, ten. Shung. Number four, ten. And with that, Shung, you've even the score at ten, ten across the board. And Shung, you get to choose. Famous composer for ten point. Okay, famous composer for ten points. Of the following, which composer has to do with the following musical pieces? 
one, uh, actually, they're not in order, <laughs> the Great Symphony, the Unfinished Symphony, the Trout for String Quintet, Ave Maria. Shung. Final answer? Schubert. Schubert. <laughs> Preferably, you'll con con confer with each other before you <laughs> buzz in. Okay. And Sheng, you have 20 points. You're in the lead, and you get to choose. A famous composer for 20 points. Okay, same category for 20 points. Famous Italian composer and principal violin virtuoso Paganini inspired the romantic mystique of the virtuoso and revolutionized violin technique. The influence of his virtuosity extended to orchestral as well as to piano music. His influence on this composer was immense. Ote. Vivaldi. Shung, it's your chance to answer and I'll finish the question. This composer was a Hungarian piano virtuoso and composer. He was the father-in-law of German composer Wagner and is especially well known for Hungarian Rhapsody. Who is this? Shung, five seconds. Shung. Final answer? At least. Oh, yes. <laughs> the Hungarian Rhapsody is list. And it's usually good to go with your first instincts. <coughs> and Shung, you're in the lead 40 versus Otay's 10. You get to choose. A famous composer for th 30. OK, yeah. stay with the same category. Famous composer for 30 points. When I was young, I never needed anyone. And, making love and what you're listening fun. to is Eric Carmen's All By Myself. This popular Don't song of Carmen's is based on the main theme of the second movement of this Russian composer's Piano Concerto Number no. 2. This person's Piano Concerto Number no. 3, Shung. Rachmaninoff. <laughs> And of course, that was used in the movie Shine. And of course, he was the last great figure of the tradition of Russian Romanticism. And Shung, this is proving to be your category. What are you going to choose next? PR Korea for 10 points. PR Korea for 10 points. Hello, contenders. It is great to meet all of you. My name is Chang Song Il, and I am in charge of publicity for Bank, the voluntary agency network of Korea. The mission of VANC is to check incorrect information on Korea in sites all over the internet and let people have correct information about Korea. We also try to introduce the hidden beauties and joys of Korean culture and nature. I think this category is very relevant to all of this. So good luck everyone. The first question has to do with the beautiful nature of Korea. On January 16th, the Ministry of Environment reported that UNESCO sent a certification designating a total of 83,000 hectares, including the Sogyu Po Beach and this month. Okay. Halasan. Yep. And of course, it is the mountain located in Jeju Island, and there are 40 425 biosphere reserves in over 95 countries. And of course, this was named as one by UNESCO. And Ote, you are catching up. You're 20 versus showing 70 points. Ote, you get to choose. Sports facts for 20, please. Sports facts for 20 points. For 20 points. Because of his record for the number of consecutive gains by a professional baseball player, this person, Ote? Lou Gehrig. Yes. Ote, you're catching up 40 to Chung 70 points. Ote, you get to choose. Sports facts for 30 again. Sports facts for 30 points. The famous genre painting by the great artist Kim Hong-do in the 18th century visit... Ote? Shirum, Korean wrestling. And with that, Ote, you have even the score at 70 points. And of course, Shirum is the Korean form of wrestling. And Ote, you get to choose. Sports facts for 40. Sports facts for 40 points. 
Jinx again. This famous tennis pro participated seven times in the Australian Open since 1997, but never advanced to, to the finals. This sports player turned pro in 1998 and won his first tournament the same year. His long blonde hair and brash style reminded many of the young Andre Agassi. He first played for Australia's Davis Cup team in 1999. Okay. Hewitt. And of course, he won the Wimbledon men's last year. And Ote, you get to choose. Let's close out Sports Facts for 50, please. Sports Facts for 50 points. One year and a half after his terrible motorcycling accident, this world champion skier returns to ski racing. Sure. Maya. Yes, and of course, you were really eager to share that answer with us. He's also known as the Herminator, and of course, he is the Austrian ski star. Uh, with that, Sheng, you are in the lead, 120 versus Ote's 110. Sheng, I want to remind you, no matter how excited you are about sharing your answer with us, it's always safest to share your answer only after yeah. I've called okay. out your team name. And so you get to choose. Yeah, famous composer for 50. Okay, famous composer for 50 points. Pongyang City in Korea is busy preparing for the celebration of this musician's work since last year. They hold the Tongyang International Music Festival every year for this commemoration. This composer taught music in Tongyang, Busan, and Seoul. In 1967, following imprisonment in South Korea as an alleged communist, he began teaching in Berlin, becoming a German citizen in the year 1971. He is the Korean-born German composer who sought to express a distinctly Asian sensibility by means of contemporary Western techniques. Who is this? Shung. Yunisang. What is it? Yunisang. Ote, you get five seconds. This Korean composer. Yun Yi Sang. <laughs> and Shung, we've taken the lead, 170 versus Ote's 170 points, and you get to choose. Okay, science trivia for 10 points. Science trivia for 10 <laughs> points. Okay, for 10 points. The first question in this category is multiple choice, so you only get one chance to answer. All the following, which is not one of the three states of matter in science. Number one, solid. Number two, liquid. Number three, plasma. Number four, gas. Ote. Number three, plasma. Mm -hmm. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. And Ote, you are catching up. You're 50 points behind. You get to choose. Go ahead. Science trivia for 20, please. Science trivia for 20 points. OK, for 20 points. This is used variously from experiments of artificial rain to effects in dramas, movies, or shows. It is also used as a refrigerant, especially during shipping or perishable products such as meat or ice cream. Okay. Dry ice. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's a dense snow-like substance that sublimes. Of course, it does not melt, but passes directly into vapor at minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. And of course, this is the trademark for carbon dioxide in its solid form. Ote, you're catching up. You're 30 points behind still, and you get to choose. Science trivia for 30 again. Science trivia for 30 points. Since July, there is a new feature on Korea's driving licenses. You can now see this on licenses to prevent fraud or operation. Ote. Go ahead. Hologram. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dennis Gabor, a Hungarian-born scientist, invented it in 1948, holography. You have uh, even the score, 170 points, and Ote, you get to choose. Science trivia for 40. Science trivia for 40 points. This material has to do with the smallest ball used in sport. It was developed by the American inventor John Wesley Hyatt in the late 1860s. This material with great tensile strength and resistance to waters, oils, and dilute acids it is capable of low-cost production in a variety of colors. It, uh, found a, uh, it found a great variety of applications in combs, collars, films, toys, and many other mass-produced consumer goods. Ote. Plastic. Shung, it's your chance to answer, and please finish the question. It is the first synthetic plastic materi material. What is this? Shung, five seconds. Shung, 
Song. Robber. Table tennis balls are made of this or a similar plastic. First, synthetic. Ote. Urethane. Shung, five seconds. Shung. Silicon. Nope, the final answer is celluloid. Celluloid is what we were looking for. And of course, I get to choose. I will choose PR Korea for 20 points. We cannot forget to mention this sporting event when we talk about events that are to take place in Korea this year. The okay. University Art Game? Mm -hmm. University Art. And that's where you get to choose. Familiar quotes for 20, please. Sure, familiar quotes for 20 points. A soft answer turns away wrath. This quote is from Proverbs 15, 1 of the Bible, and it was said by this king, son, and successor of David, and traditionally regarded as the wisest king of Israel. Shung. Solomon. Yes, king Solomon. Thank you. And of course, his crowning achievement was his vast building program, famous know. temple at his capital, Jerusalem. And Shung, you have even the score out once again. You are both at 190 points. And Shung, you get to choose. PR Korea for 30 points. PR Korea for 30 points. This question has to do with Korean food. It is multiple choice, so be careful with your answer. Of the following, which is an incorrect description of a Korean dish? 1. Namul. Vegetable or wild green dishes. 2. Chotgal. Seafood fermented in salt. 3. Chuk. Pan fried dishes. Okay. Number 3. Yes. He was so brave when he was giving these words that it was kind of, you know. Oscar surprise. Explain in English. <laughs> yeah, chuk actually is not pan fried. Pan fried dishes are called chun, and chuk <sighs> is a porridge. And Ote, you are in the lead, 220 versus Shung's 190. This is a very close game. What are you going to have next? Familiar quotes for 30, please. Familiar quotes for 30 points. Slow but steady wins the race. This quote is from the hare and the tortoise. The person who said this is the supposed Ote. Asa. Yeah. And of course, this is we suppose that Aesop was the author of the collection of great Greek fables, almost. But most people say that he is a legendary figure, and it was attributed to him so that the tales or the fables are known as Aesop's fables. And of course, Ote, you are increasing your lead, 250 versus Shung's 190 points. Ote, you get to choose. Familiar quotes for 40, please. Familiar quotes for 40 points. When you have fears, do not fear to abandon them. These are the words of this Chinese sage. Positive evidence concerning the life of this sage is scanty. Modern scholars base their accounts largely on the Analects, a collection of sayings that sort of Confucius. Awesome. Yes. And of course, if you're a very close watcher of the contenders, you know that we gave you this in the multiple choice categories a couple of weeks ago. And Ote, you are increasing your lead, and you get to choose. Familiar quotes for 50, please. Closing out the category, familiar quotes for 50 points. Which philosopher and writer once said, if God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him? Born Françoise Marie Arouet, he was one of the greatest of all French writers. Although only a few of his works are still read widely, he continues to be held in worldwide repute as a courageous crusader against tyranny, bigotry, and cruelty. He personifies the Enlightenment. Letters concerning Chung. Voltaire. Yes, Voltaire. And with that, Shung, you have closed in. You're 50 points behind, behind Ote team. Shung, you get to choose. A PR Korea for 40. Sure, PR Korea for 40 points. 
Recently, settings in Korean movies or dramas are becoming popular tourist spots in Korea. In the last scene of this film, the two main characters. Sheng. Shiri. Yes. And of course, we are keeping it very close. There are just two questions left, 50 pointers, and Sheng, you are 10 points behind. Ote, you are still in the lead with 290. And Sheng, you get to choose. PR Korea for 50. PR Korea for 50 points. What was it like in the old days in Korea? This place recreates the lifestyle of the Joseon dynasty. There are common people's houses from different parts of the country. An oriental medicine house, a blacksmith house, a handicraft room, a pottery oven, and a market place. You will also find the 99-room mansion, reflecting the luxurious lifestyle of the young man or the aristocrat. Ote. Minzokchon. Minzokchon Pamugan. English. Minzokchon Museum. The Folk Village. Folk Village. Yes, we are looking for Korean Folk Village. And of course, uh, we have one question left. We go with science trivia. Okay, for 50 points. How do you think a water strider glides so gently on water? A water strider's feet are covered with fine, water-resistant hairs that enable the insect to remain on the water surface. This phenomenon can be observed in the nearly spherical shape of small drops of liquids of, uh, and of soap bubbles. This property of liquid surface is displayed by its acting as if it were a stretched elastic, elastic membrane. What is this? This is a property of a liquid surface displayed by its acting as if it were a stretched ote. Surface tension. And, well, this was a very close game, Shung. You gave a very great effort. But Ote, you are winners for seven times in a row. Congratulations. <laughs> Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. <laughs> and now, Shung, this was a very, very close game up until the last question. Um, you gave a great effort. Of course, this is your first time out, so it was, must have been tougher for you. Um, any words for your supporters? Oh, this is a really good game. I think we did better than expectation, mm -hmm. expectation, and I think Ote is deserved to get you know, seven consecutive wins. Uh, very gracious. Now Have this is val <laughs> <laughs> This is your. Uh, this is Valentine's Day as well, and I know your girlfriend is watching. Any words for her? I think I have to prepare White Day. Ah, oh, you have to prepare. <coughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> and Ote. Okay. With this seventh win, you have tickets to go to Europe. How do you feel? I mean, this all started off, Kenny coming up to my house, flipping through channels. Man, we could beat these guys. But we never thought we'd come out here and try to win the game. And when we did, we won and kept winning and winning. But I just want to tell you, this is hard. Winning seven games, I mean, we faced some tough competition. These guys were tough. And it's not about intelligence, it's about how much like, useless trivia you guys know. And I have a lot of free time on my hands, so I just read a lot. That helps a lot, too. But I just want to say hi to my mom. My dad back home, my sister, my friends, Hannah, love you, and uh, just Pete, Nick, all you guys. All right. <coughs> <laughs> um, like I said before the show started, I think this had as much to do with us as it did with our fans and our supporters as well. Um, and just like Jason, I'd like to take, take this opportunity to say hi to all my friends back in LA, Paul, Sean at KSK Music, my brother Kevin in New York, my mom who's here now, my father who lives here in Korea, 
Um, thank you all for your support. And um, um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, thanks, sir. And with that, we have a great uh, new seven-time winner who makes it into our actual honorable seven-time winners hall in our internet site. Take a look and give us your questions or comments. Please join us next week, same time. Bye-bye.